Hey guys, my name is Chaotic, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be discussing some very disappointing information and news regarding the release of the PC version of Grand Theft Auto 5. So without any hesitation, let's jump straight into this video. So first of all, as I'm sure you guys are already aware, initially the official release date for the PC version of Grand Theft Auto 5 was set to be later this month on the 27th of January 2015, which is exactly two weeks time. Now last week there were in fact rumours going around the Grand Theft Auto 5 community and the internet suggesting that the PC version of GTA 5 was going to be delayed because the game itself was not ready to be released. Now these rumours were confirmed incorrect, Rockstar came out and spoke officially and directly about these rumours and said that GTA 5 was still on track and is set to be released on the 27th of January. But unfortunately this has all changed because once again Rockstar has come out and spoken officially about the release of GTA 5 on the PC and they have said the game itself is not ready to be released, there are some delays being experienced and GTA 5 will not be released on the PC until later this year on March 24th 2015. So early today Rockstar posted an article on the Newswire which states, as we head into 2015 we would like to share the first screens and system specs of Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PC as well as a new release date of March 24th 2015. So this is a major setback and we will now have to wait another two months until we can get GTA 5 on the PC. In my opinion this is hugely disappointing because I was really looking forward to playing GTA 5 on my PC later this month but obviously that will no longer be the case. But anyway Rockstar then went on to say our apologies for the slight shift in the date but the game requires a few extra weeks of testing and polish to make it as good as it can be. Moving a release date is never a decision we take lightly and is a choice we make only when we know it's in the best interest of the game and our fans. Thanks everyone for your understanding and we assure you these few extra weeks will be worth it when the game does arrive in March. So there you go, due to a few issues and the need to test the game completely, Rockstar have had to push back the release date until March 24th, which obviously is hugely disappointing, but supposedly it will be worth it in the long run. Rockstar then went on to say that GTA Online for PC, which will support up to 30 players, will launch alongside GTA 5 for PC and will include GTA Online heists. Online heist for consoles will be launching in the coming weeks ahead of the PC launch. So basically the heist DLC will be released on the Xbox and PlayStation consoles in the next few weeks before the PC version is released. So at least there is some good news in this Newswire article because we have in fact been waiting for the heist DLC now on GTA 5 ever since it was first released in September 2013. So anyway with that being said let's move on to the next bit of information which is included in the Newswire article and this is the minimum PC specifications which will be required to run Grand Theft Auto 5 on your PC. So as you can see being displayed in the video right now there is a screenshot of the minimum PC specifications which will be required and there is also a list of recommended specifications which will run GTA 5 on your PC in the best quality possible. Now do not worry I will not be reading out these specifications to you as much of them will be irrelevant and meaningless but what you simply want to do is compare these specifications to the ones which you have in your PC to find out whether GTA 5 can be supported or not. So anyway, moving on to the last bit of information which Rockstar has given us on the Newswire article regarding Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC, and it states, Grand Theft Auto 5 for PC pushes Los Santos and Blaine County to even greater levels of detail, running at 1080p and 60 frames per second, with up to 4K resolution, and support for up to triple monitor configurations, as well as NVIDIA 3D Vision for up to triple monitor setups. So there we go, that is all we have for this information, I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Now I do realise it is disappointing that the release date has been delayed, but either way if you guys want to take a closer look at the information for yourselves, there will be a link in the description to the original Newswire article. If you guys could take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video about your thoughts about this delay and whether you guys are going to be getting Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC or not. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I would recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.